Alright, so this will be like the combo section of it, just to give you an idea of how the, the new card Allies Seers work. So I have a way to search it now, thanks to Sky Iris. Sky Iris is going to activate. Now this hand is quite optimal, but I'm going to just focus on that one combo line. I'm gonna get Revolution, of course, right? Revolution is going to search your arc. And then you can use Ange effect if you want, but I'm just going to show the combo line. So Ange in scale, Pensoric in scale. I'm going to Sky Iris. Pop the Sork, and then you're gonna add a card. You're gonna add Seer. And since I have Astrograph, Astro's gonna activate to search another Sork. Right? This is very cool combo line at this point. Sork is gonna give me Pen Sork, and then now Seers is gonna recycle back the Odd Eyes Revolution. So if they Ash the Revolution, it would be bad play because at the end of the day, now that Seer is out, I can just recycle it. Right? Add back to my hand, pop it, and now thanks to Revolution searching the arc earlier, I get to pop off again without having to normal summon. Thanks to Astro in here as well. So in this situation, you will go for Valid, right? Now Valid can mill two targets. It can mill an Ange for scale, it can mill Butler for follow-up, or it can mill um, a target for Selene, such as Pensork. But since we have Pensork here, we're just going to use that. So in this situation, we're just going to mill the butler, right? For follow-up. And then Revolution, of course, can activate again. You can also save the Revolution for a Revival's target. So targets for Revolution would be, of course, your Chaos Ruler, your Vortex, or if you properly Fusion Summon this card, you can also summon out the Supreme King. And yeah, that's the basic idea of running Odd Eyes Seers. The new Odd Eyes part that just came out today. But anyway, on to the gameplays. Uh, so this was an early trial run using a small magician package, as well as running the Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph. However, later duels, I adjusted the ratios to implement more hand traps. But this duel here did demonstrate ways to use Sears and or get to my Sears line, as you will see now. So of course, I'm going to normal my Valet. Valet is going to give me a Seared target, so I mill for Sork. Gentrude is only going to pop by Butler, and Butler is forcing Gentrude to search my Sears. And because I have Arc, Arc is going to go into scale. Sears will activate, adding back the Pen Sork, triggering Arc and popping itself. So here I went for Dissolver to play around any hand traps they may have. Scale Celestial Dissolver fuse both the arc to make, of course, Vortex. And now they have to deal my Vortex or stop my place now, all right? So Electromite, Electromite's gonna search an Astrograph, scale my Pen Sork, pop the Sork, add back the Astrograph, Astro is gonna search a card, Pen Sork is gonna draw. So they're gonna Ash my draw, but I negated that with Vortex and continue from here. So scale the Sears, I made Beyond the Pendulum. Beyond's gonna search me, of course, my position package, so I search Harmonizing, and then I Pen Summoned. So of course, I decided whether not to extend combo or end combo early, I decided to go for a quicker end board. So Pensorg's gonna pop both scales, Harmonizing, and it's gonna summon my Oath Dragon. Both will make, of course, Baron the Fleur. And then I think that's about all I can do. Yeah, since I did end it a little earlier and I don't have enough spells to continue combo line. So Baron, and I drew call by thanks to Ange, and I set the call by. Of course, you're not going to see call by in later duels because I decided to just take it out. But this was just a, a quick test run of what you can do with Sears. And yeah, I'm going to move on from here. So. I, of course, went second here, and I'm facing Sword Soul. So they're going to end on the typical board, and let's see if I can just break through it. So be a blackout. They have a Baron, they float, they have a Chi Shao. I drew Arc, so I use Revolution to see if I can scout for something else. And they hand trapped, so they had an Ash. So now my Revolution's effect, yeah, can't search, right? So I had to summon Joker, because right now my hand is pretty bad, since I don't have a low scale. They had an Imperm, so now Joker is negated, and one side of my scale is also negated. Shoot. 
All right, at this point, I'm praying that the Baron will negate the arc activation, but it didn't. So I have to use Sky Iris and pray they don't negate, which they don't, which is good because now I have a low scale. And I'm just gonna bank on this. At this point, I realize that Chi Shao is in defense, which is bad. That means I can just run him over. And Arc has enough attack to go over the defense of Baron, right? So I broke their board and I try to combo from here, hoping they don't have any more interruptions. I want to Electromite. And do they have one more? And they had an Imperm in hand. Like, okay, fine. That means that's the end of my line. And back to them. Now I'm just going to pray they also break. They don't open Taya. They don't open anything useful. I was testing Seer here. So you can't order that. But do they draw anything, any, anything useful? Come on. Do they? No. So I was like, all right, back to me. If they can't stop this, at this point in the duel, I win. So I drew revolution, so going fine, that's fine. Sky Iris pops, they ash the Sky Iris, which isn't really that important. And I continue from there. And they surrender. So yeah, GG, moving on. So in this duel, I I have full combo line, right? So it doesn't matter what I do. So I have Joker, of course. Joker got ashed, which is fine. Because at the end of the day, thanks to Sears, I can still make my other play, which is the important play, either Beyond or Electromite, right? Now, because I opened triple tactics, I didn't need to draw, nor did I need anything else. So instead, I decided to look at the opponent's hand to see if I can disrupt something. So of course, I feel like they're playing branded and they had super poly. So I return to super poly and continue comboing. Revolution searches arc, of course. Now we'll scale arc and seer. Seer will pop itself and return the arc, the revolution back to hand. And this will trigger arc. And then I can continue combo from here. So valid, valid now mills. Decide to mill Pensorg, and then Revolution effect again to search for another arc. And continue. I think at this point they just surrendered or had connection issues. So I may Electromite, Electromite pops my Gen True. Gen True is gonna scale search and Astro is gonna add back a card I pop. So I add back Sears, scale Sears, I drew Duelist, searched again, searched Penstork, and then yeah, it was basically connection issues. So, GG, next game. Now I won the coin flip here, so I'm going first, and I opened a pretty good hand. So I normal the Joker, of course, to search for revolution. And did they have anything? They imperm it. Oh, okay, fine. So they imperm my Joker. Fine, so I scale Gen True and I scale. I didn't scale anything else, right? Yeah, I scale Gen True and I knew they had another hand trap during the start. I was like, oh yeah, that's Maxi. I was like, okay, fine, I'm not even gonna take the Maxi challenge. And I just passed from here. I'm gonna give them plus two for Baguska. It's not even worth it. Given they wasted two cards, so they're working with three and four cards. So, Alright. They normal the Nimble Beaver, I maxi that, and I knew instantly they were playing Sprite because level 2 nonsense, right? So now they're locked into maxi. They set one and pass. Interesting. So I drew, I drew another Joker, I normal the Joker, Joker Surge, but they ashed it. So that's weird that they did not ash the, uh, my maxi. <laughs> they opened another maxi. Do you really think I'm gonna take the maxi challenge when you open Ash and Maxi again? No, I'm just gonna go for battle and put you in top deck situation. So yeah, pass from here, move on. And they surrendered. So that was a mind game. So the deck list, right? I am playing triple arc. I'm playing adjust the ratio, of course, like I said earlier. I'm playing triple maxi, triple ash, the whole thing, of course. Double valid, the synchron, the alien, triple pen sword, 
triple joker, triple gentru, triple butler. So really not much has changed except I added triple sears because sears will get you to a combo line. It will also recycle your revolution as well as search for anything you mill off of valid. So yeah, really good card. I love this card. I can't wait for Draco Slayer to come. That way I can use it further, but it is here now. So yeah, one astrograph, one dissolver, triple revolution, double alliance, one triple tactics talent. I love this card. <laughs> now I'm trying this card out. This is a really interesting card. Link into the brains. It means I can go into my Electromite or my Beyond without them hand trapping or imperming that specific line. So it's really a neat interaction and I'm still testing it further. For now, I'm testing it in Odd Eyes and or Pen Magicians. Uh, double Sky Iris. This is basically how many series are you playing? You're playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're playing eight Sears target because this gets your Sears, this gets your Sears, this is Sears. This also gets you Sears, but you don't need to because this is just uh, Synchron and Dissolver. But yeah, you're on the extra deck. So one Vortex, one Supreme King, Starring Venom, nothing's changed about the Fusion Line. I decided to add in Chaos Ruler for Hope target, right? Uh, one Baron de Fleur. I'm testing Psychic and Punisher in this deck. So it's a little trickier to get out, but it is pretty cool when it does happen. Uh, your targets for it is obviously Chaos Ruler and uh, Ash Blossom. And in most cases, if you can make like a four, which I don't have, it's kind of hard, but if you can try to 9 and 2, you can, but basically Chaos Filler and Ash is how you're going to get it out in this version. So you can take it out if you like. I'm just testing it here for now. Don't need to. The one back goose could if they max see you, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, one Hope Harbinger. Your Electro Mike plays. Your Ivy Mask Granite into Unicorn play if need be. Your Crossy for extension plays. Your Beyond the Pendulum for searching and or board breaking if need be. Unicorn, Ivy Mask, Grand Target, right? Celine, Extension Plays, Appalooza, End Board, and Access Code for Game. If you decide to take on the Maxi Challenge and want to go for Game. Yeah, that's about it for the deck. Nothing really has changed so far. It's going to be drastic once the Draco Slayer stuff do come, but it's quite, pretty interesting. Not top tier, but fun. I love this card. But yeah. Anyway, that's about it, and uh, stay tuned for Dead Space Part 3 or Chapter 3 tomorrow. And yeah, take care everybody, bye.